This is the story of two co-workers who work in the same building who get stuck in a lift on the weekend. And no one is there to save them for four to five days. There is a secret behind their getting stuck in that lift. And to know what that secret is, do watch this video till the end. At the beginning of the film, we see Jennifer who is working in her office till late night. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. So, to surprise her ex-boyfriend, Jennifer was going to New York with flight. Related to this, Jennifer writes a mail to her ex-boyfriend. But because this is a surprise, Jennifer doesn't send that mail. After work, Jennifer picks up her stuff and leaves the office. On the other hand, we see a man named Guy. And he too is getting ready to leave after completing his work. Then Guy gets into a lift. And Jennifer is also in that lift. Guy talks to Jennifer for a while to make her feel comfortable. And tells her that there is a five day off. Then Guy's attention goes to a drawing on the wall of the lift. In which a boy was locked in a box. And Guy shows that drawing to Jennifer. Then they both are talking there. Suddenly, the lift stops on the way. Then Guy presses the call and emergency button in the lift. But he doesn't get any answer from there. Then they both look at the camera in the lift and start waving their hands. But there is no one on the other side of the camera who can help them. Then they both try to call someone. But there is no signal in their phone. Now Jennifer was nervous. Because she had to catch a flight tonight. But due to being locked in the lift, her flight was missed. Now they both didn't have any option. So they both sit there. Then Jennifer tells Guy that she works as an account supervisor here. Then Guy also tells Jennifer that he is new here. And he has joined a few days ago. After a while, they both realize that there is an emergency exit in every lift. So Jennifer asks Guy to climb up. So that he can find the emergency exit and get out of there. But that lift is completely packed. So they both don't have any option to get out of there. Now it's been an hour since they were locked together. So they both tell each other their names. Then Jennifer tells Guy that she is very thirsty. So Guy gives her a bottle of water. Guy also has a bottle of wine, which he was taking for his client. Jennifer tells Guy that now they both are going to be locked in this lift for five days, because no one is going to come here for five days. After a while, Jennifer wants to go to the toilet, but she couldn't do this in front of Guy, because she was ashamed to do this in front of a man. But Guy explains to her that there is nothing to be ashamed of, and then Guy asks Jennifer to do it in his empty thermos. Now Jennifer doesn't have any other option. So she does this in his empty thermos, and Guy turns around and closes his eyes and ears. After this, Jennifer comes to the drawing on the wall, and makes a drawing of a girl there. Now a few more hours pass, and they both talk to each other to pass time and play a game. Then Jennifer asks Guy, do you have a girlfriend or friend who can come here looking for you? But Guy says that he doesn't have a girlfriend or friend here, and neither does anyone know that he works here. Then Jennifer also tells that she doesn't have anyone here. And she was going to New York to meet her ex-boyfriend tonight. But now her flight has been missed. Now they both talk for a while. And then Guy opens his wine bottle. And they both start drinking wine there. Now a lot of time had passed. And they both start drawing each other to pass their time. While drawing, Guy tells Jennifer that I have hidden something from you. Actually, I have seen you outside the office many times in the lobby. And I find you very beautiful. Hearing this, Jennifer starts feeling shy. And then they both start showing each other their drawings. Guy had made a very beautiful drawing of Jennifer, but Jennifer had made a very funny drawing of Guy. After this, Jennifer tells Guy that they should talk about some other topic. So Guy starts talking to Jennifer about food. On this, Jennifer stops Guy there and tells him that please don't talk about food because we don't have anything to eat. Then Guy tells Jennifer that we can talk about romantic things. And on this, Jennifer says that we both should tell each other our fantasies about this. First of all, Jennifer starts. And she says that I had been romantic with my boyfriend in the library during my college days. After this, it's Guy's turn. And he says that when he used to work somewhere else, there was a very beautiful girl there. And he had romantic with her in the car. After this, Guy asks Jennifer if he can kiss her. And Jennifer says yes to him. Then they come close to each other. And they start playing games together. Guy tells Jennifer that he has started loving her. But Jennifer tells Guy that she still loves her ex-boyfriend. And when she gets out of this lift, she will go straight to her ex-boyfriend. And everything will be normal between them. Then Guy tells Jennifer that he wants to continue this relationship with her. On this, Jennifer tells Guy that whatever happened between them was just casual. And she doesn't want to have anything to do with Guy. After hearing this, Guy gets a little sad. And then he tells Jennifer that he loves her a lot. That's why he will be honest with her. Then Guy tells Jennifer that he has hidden a lot from her. Like he is not new in this office. In fact, he has been working in this office for a long time, and he sees Jennifer coming here every day, and he knows everything about Jennifer. Then Guy shows Jennifer his mobile phone, 
in which there is CCTV footage of Jennifer coming out of the office. Actually, Guy is the security guard of this building, and he used to see Jennifer coming here every day, and he has been in love with Jennifer for a long time, but he couldn't say anything to Jennifer, because he knew that Jennifer won't date a security guard, that's why Guy had planned everything, and both of them getting stuck in this lift was not an accident, but it was Guy's plan. After telling all this, Guy takes out the key of the lift, and he tells Jennifer that if she wants, she can go out of here. And then Guy puts the key in the lift and starts the lift. Jennifer gets very angry with all these things, and she tells Guy that you have tried to kidnap me, and I will go to the police after getting out of here, and I will tell them everything. Now after listening to Jennifer, Guy closes the lift again, and then Jennifer runs to the gate to get the key, but Guy catches her, and Jennifer starts moving her hands and legs to get rid of him. Then, by mistake, Jennifer's foot touches the key, and the key breaks. Now they were really stuck here, because the key was the only way they could get out of here. Jennifer gets even more angry, and she hits her sandal on Guy's face in anger. Then Guy catches Jennifer's face and hits her on the floor, and they both faint. After a while, they both regain consciousness, and Jennifer asks Guy that you can't be the only security guard in the building. And Guy tells Jennifer that there were going to be three security guards tonight. But I told the other two that I will do this shift as well. After this, Jennifer tells Guy that you are a kidnapper. And after hearing this, Guy goes completely crazy and starts breaking things here and there. Then Guy opens Jennifer's bag. And there is a shirt inside the bag that Jennifer had brought for her boyfriend. Seeing this, Guy puts on the shirt himself. Then there is another box there. And Guy asks Jennifer to open that box. There is a cigar and a lighter in that box. And Guy starts smoking that cigar there. Jennifer gets really scared seeing all this. That's why she sits there quietly. After a while, Guy sees that there is a way out in every lift, and there is no screw towards top in this lift. So maybe there is some way up there. Then Guy climbs up the lift, and there he finds a way out. Then Guy tells Jennifer that he needs help climbing up, but Jennifer didn't trust Guy, so she tells Guy that she won't be able to lift him. So let me go first, but Guy also doesn't trust Jennifer, because he thinks that Jennifer will go out and tell the police. But Jennifer promises Guy that she won't tell the police anything. On this, Guy trusts Jennifer and takes her up. But Jennifer deceives Guy and doesn't take him out. After this, Jennifer climbs up the stairs with the lift and starts going out. Seeing this, Guy gets really angry and he also makes a rope out of clothes and gets out of the lift. Then Guy also starts going behind Jennifer. On the other side, Jennifer reaches the exit gate. And as soon as she opens the gate, Guy comes from behind and pulls her down. Then they both fall down in the lift, and faint there. After a while, Jennifer regains consciousness, and she starts burning some papers, so that the fire alarm is triggered, and the fire department comes and saves them. After a while, Guy also regains consciousness, but Jennifer makes him unconscious again, and ties him up. Then Jennifer starts cutting Guy's private part with a cigar cutter, and seeing this, Guy starts screaming. Now seeing Guy suffering like this, Jennifer stops. Then Jennifer records Guy's confession from her mobile, so that when she gets out of here, Jennifer can go to the police and complain about Guy. In his confession, Guy tells Jennifer that he was a manager before, and one day he was with a girl in the car on an office trip, and during this time, the car fell into a ditch. Guy got out of the car, but the girl went into the ditch with the car, and because of this, Guy was jailed for six months. After six months, when Guy came out, he didn't get a job in any company, and he was forced to work as a security guard in this building. After some time, we see another security guard in that building. His name is Teddy. Teddy comes with his girlfriend in that building. And then he sees in the monitor that two people are stuck in the lift. And seeing this, Teddy goes there to help them. Teddy opens the lift from outside. And inside, he gives his key to Guy. So that guy can start the lift again. But Guy tells Teddy that he needs his help. So Teddy starts going inside the lift to help Guy. As soon as Teddy reaches halfway inside, Guy starts the lift again. And Teddy falls there. Jennifer starts screaming, so Guy makes her unconscious, and then he picks her up and locks her in the trunk of a car. After this, Guy goes to the CCTV room, and he deletes all his footage. Then Guy sees Teddy's girlfriend there, and Guy kills her too. Then Guy sits in that car and goes to a deserted place, and he starts putting petrol in a garbage can. Actually, Guy was planning to burn Jennifer there. Then Guy opens the trunk of the car, and Jennifer comes out of there quietly. Then Guy turns to pick up Jennifer. Jennifer attacks him and takes his car and leaves. After a while, Jennifer reverses the car, and hits Guy and drops him in the garbage can. Then Jennifer sets the garbage can on fire, and Guy also gets burnt. And this film ends here.